I know that the punishment that this body voted on was for this session. Is there any type of punishment that would carry over to the next session should Representative Zephyr be reelected? Um, so I can't, I mean, yeah, the, the punishment and disciplinary actions that we took here uh, stopped at sine die. So right now it is everything uh, back to normal. And that was really, and I'll clarify that too, that was just to protect, once again, to protect this body. I mean, we had safety issues. We had police in riot gear here. We had pages, staff that were uh, really feared, feared for safety. Uh, we had uh, death threats coming in and, and still are. Uh, it, it, it was, uh, I can't paint enough of a picture of how dark uh, of a shadow that cast over Montana and, and, and politics. Um, but as far as moving forward, uh, the disciplinary actions have stopped. Um, we are elected for a two-year term, so could the could the uh, could the body do more disciplinary actions? I mean, if they're warranted, probably. But uh, it all starts over again then when we get elected and and swore in next January. So I think whoever's coming back will have to take a look at the makeup and 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 make their own rules moving forward and and figure out how they're going to operate. But those rules will be for that session. I mean, there's no there's nothing they could come back and do next session for actions done this session. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I would <laughs> I imagine. Mean, yeah. I mean, the Constitution is pretty, uh, pretty open of uh, two-thirds of the body can uh, expel or punish uh, for good cause. Hmm. So it's okay. uh, uh, so to pretty be determined. wide open. And, uh, and it doesn't, I don't even know if that, I think there was one time maybe back in 1800s that somebody had gotten expelled. So yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. It doesn't happen, and that's what, and that's one thing too of I think that has gotten lost in, um, in the narrative uh, of the media. Of uh, it was a, tried to move it to a free speech thing when it really wasn't. It was an unprecedented action that really threatened the safety and, and the dignity of the Montana House of Representatives, and that's what two thirds of our members said. We cannot have that as we try and finish out our work here this session.